Hello, lovely people. How are you guys doing? What's up? <laughs> hey, how are you guys doing? I already asked you that. I feel like my hair is a very awkward length. I kind of want to cut it a little more. I kind of want to cut it a little more. What? I kind of want to cut it a little more. <sighs> Flashback. I don't know how much I want to cut it, to be honest with you. Is that a lot? End of flashback. Probably this much. Do you guys think that that's a good idea? Let me know down in the comments. Anyways, in today's video, I'm actually getting ready to film another video. I'm planning on doing this very nice lilac, sparkly eye makeup. This can be like a, like a quick get ready with me. I'm gonna start off with some setting spray. And then I'm moving on to my foundations. Whoa, a little too much. A little too much on the forehead, but that's okay. I just love it when I start applying my foundation and I see it just melting into my skin and evening out my skin tone. It's just so, so nice. Ah, nice. Nice. I'm so puffy today. I wake up not that long ago and I'm still like... <laughs> I look like a puffer fish again. <laughs> I will powder. Wow, so much powder. I'm gonna powder my, my whole face. I'm just avoiding the area where I'm gonna apply my concealer under the eyes. But everywhere else, we're covering it up with powder. Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze. I'm taking some of it on my spoolie. Boom, boom, boom. This is giving me full control over my eyebrow hairs. It allows me to put them in a position that will make it easier for me to fill them in. I can sculpt my eyebrows with it before I fill them in, which makes the whole process so much easier. My eyebrow hairs are so wild, it's so hard for me to tame them. And they're also so long, I have to constantly trim them. I feel like if I just let them grow, I'm gonna have an upside down fringe growing out of my eyebrows. Ugh. Yeah, eyebrow hairs are very long. I don't know. I don't know why I need all that length. I think there was a misunderstanding. I want my lashes to be long, not my eyebrows. I want my money back. I'll go ahead and clean them up with some concealer like I usually do. See before, after. I'm not sure if you guys are even able to see the difference, but I can see it. There are so many little extra steps that I do when I do my makeup that are so unnecessary. There you go. I said it. <laughs> I feel so much better now. <laughs> Where are my eyeshadows? I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the shade called French Lace, baby. Yeah. I really like this color. It's very, very nice. Let me show you. I've done also some other makeup tutorials with it. It's very nice. I can't stop using it. So this is a liquid eyeshadow. So when I apply it on my eyelid, I need to very quickly start blending it. It gives you some time to blend it out. But again, I try to be as quick as possible before it sets into my skin and it's impossible to blend it out. And boom, ready. This literally took me like 20 seconds or something. From 1 to 10, my lips are dry. Hmm, 58. Lip balm, lip balm. Where is my lip balm? I lost my lip balm. Wow. Lip balms have that amazing ability to just disappear, just vanish, invisible. Where is my lip balm? I don't know. You know how Andy's toys were just frozen when he walked in the room? Andy's coming, everybody, back to your places, hurry! Yeah, my lip balms are disappearing when I walk in the room. Mm? They're alive and being mean every day, all day. <laughs> now, guys, here is a very mm, kind of part. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you probably don't. I want to apply some glitters on top of this lilac eyeshadow. However, the glitters that I'm going to use today, Sugar Twinkle by Peripera. Very nice shimmers, awesome, love them. However, I don't know why they make my eyeshadows crease throughout the day. When I apply these glitters, my eyeshadows are moving a lot throughout the day. They're creasing, they're setting into the lines of my eyelids. It's a mess. So, I, I don't know why it's happening. <laughs> if I knew, I would have done something about it, but I'm trying to figure it out. Usually my eyeshadows are very lazy. They're not moving at all. I apply them on my eyelids and they just 
stay like that but when i apply this something happens it disturbs them <laughs> so i thought maybe i can try using some glitter glue before i apply the glitters although this is like a liquid glittery eyeshadow i'm gonna still use some glitter glue underneath and hopefully that will really lock everything in place so here we go some glitter glue on the eyelid boom 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 pressing it not rubbing it because i don't want to disturb that lilac eyeshadow underneath and then i'm gonna take my peripera sugar twinkle um, liquid eyeshadow i'm using the shade 01 and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take some of those shimmers on the back of my hand take some of them on my finger like this and then just press it on top of that glitter glue yeah and i'm gonna build it up give it a few seconds to dry out take some more on my finger and apply some more on top very very gently pressing those glitters on my eyelids next winged eyeliner and see really nice really fun i look in just a few steps this wasn't difficult at all i love looks like that just simple easy almost effortless i was about to say that i don't like making my makeup routine complicated but that's definitely not true <laughs> i wish it was but i i keep on adding extra steps just mm, let's try out this oh let's try out that i'm gonna use a very bright shade of concealer under my eyes yeah that bright <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh that's a lot of concealer i think i used a little too much i, I don't know if you can tell <laughs> but i can definitely tell and feel and see Ooh. A very brightening i'll go ahead and set that concealer under my eyes with some powder i'm using that same huda beauty powder that i used all over my face now moving on to the bronzer i'm gonna start bronzing up my forehead giving myself that sun kissed look looked i haven't seen the sun in months but I'm really going for that sun-kissed look. <laughs> I like using bronzer on my forehead because that way I'm kind of sculpting it and that makes it look a little smaller because I have, I have a lot of forehead space. <laughs> and I also have hair in my face. Get out. I don't know why I needed to point it out. Obviously, it's obvious. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I love English. Next, you're about to witness me apply an excessive amount of blush on my face. I put on a pair of falsies and I'm a different person now, okay? You know how sometimes you wake up, your hair is an absolute mess, then you, you fix it a little, you straighten it, you curl it, whatever you like, and then boom, instantly you feel so much better. You feel like, ugh, I'm not someone you wanna mess up with. I'm gonna spray my brush with some setting spray and then I'm gonna dip it in some of my highlighter. I'm gonna use this highlighter palette here. This is by I Heart Revolution Rose Gold Glow contains two highlighting powders. Yeah. That's what I'm using today. My skin looks so matte right now. I kind of want to add some, some glow just in the areas that I want. And that's, that's why we use highlighter. At least that's why I use highlighter. And because my brush is nice and damp, it also helps my highlighter to blend with everything else that I already have in my, on my face. It helps it look a little more natural. A little bit on the nose. Hey, look, my bun bought a friend. Now there too. <laughs> Wait, what? My bun bought a friend. Bun bought a friend. Bun bought a friend. Why are my buns so uneven? Like always, why they're always so uneven? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use this Huda Beauty lipstick. This is my first time using this one. Oh, I like. I like a lot. I also have this Huda Beauty pencil. It's again my first time using it. So I'm gonna use it to kind of outline my lips. I should have done that before I applied the lipstick, but doing things the right way is not my way of doing things. I tried adding some purple eyeshadow in this outer corner of my eye just to see how it looks. It looks pretty good. I like it. It kind of frames my eyes a little better. I like it. I like it. I was thinking maybe I can use some highlighter in this inner part of my eyes. Why not? Let's try it out and see what happens. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. 
It is so beautiful. This was such a good idea. Yes, I like. I guess that's it for today. I don't know what else I should do. I think I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna go and film a video trying out some popping cooking. Guys, I recently found out what popping cooking is and I lost it. I lost it. I can't believe nobody told me about it earlier. Let me know what you think about our lilac sparkly look today. The best thing about this look is that it's so simple. Just literally one liquid eyeshadow. I mean, I made it a little more complicated, but overall it's just some lilac color with some sparkles on top. It's a very fun one. Just lilac and sparkles. What else do I want? Nothing. That's it. Popping cooking. That's what I want. I want to try out popping cooking. <laughs> so guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already because that definitely helps me so, 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 so much. I also have a second channel. You can go and check it out. And I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!